Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. We're back with Football Manager 2019 and Eastern Resurgence with Berlin FC Dynamo. Fantastic news is that we are mathematically safe from relegation. We can't go down. We are high enough and we have enough points that we can't get relegated. So job done this season. We've stayed up with four games left. I'll be playing all of them live and we're going to see... Uh, just how high we can finish. We are in 12th still, so but we've done well. Play three games on screen. I'll show you the results in those, and then we'll have a, a double live comp. First of all, we're taking on Stuttgart in an away game, and then I think it's Bayern Leverkusen at home. I might be wrong though, but we'll have a look. So last episode we took on uh, Bayern at home, lost one nil, a late goal. Um, we gave a good account of ourselves. I thought we did really really well. Uh, didn't get anything from it. We could have done though. We had some chances, and Bayern weren't great, but they got the late goal and they got the win. But um, off screen, three games, two wins, I think one loss. Uh, it's been all right and we're safe. So I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. So first start was um, a game away from home against Colm, uh, which we won 2-1. Uh, two goals uh, within seconds of each other and then we got a winner. So uh, yeah, pretty close game. We had the edge in possession, but in terms of shots and chances, it was about the same. We might have had a bit more of the, um, of the ball, a bit more of the chances, but... Uh, yeah, it was a deserved win, I thought. After a goalless first half, uh, we went behind Rui Costa. Uh, not that Rui Costa. He's probably about 50 by this point, the old Portuguese player. Uh, but um, yeah, Costa gave Colm the lead 54th minute of the game. Uh, we equalised almost instantaneously. It was within the same minute. It was that quick. Sergio uh, giving us that quick equaliser. And then giving us the lead. A brace from uh, Sergio. Uh, he got us the winner on 79 minutes. Uh, a good win. I thought we deserved it. I thought we played a bit better than them. We defended better as well. Uh, yeah, really, really good result. Uh, I thought we'd get a result against Borussia Dortmund. It was very close to it, but um, we conceded late on. A uh, bit of a shame, this one. It would be nice to get a point against them. They beat us earlier in the season, and they beat us 2-1 at home. A game where possession was about the same, but they had a lot more shots than us. They created three chances that Batista Meyer had just a terrific game set up both their goals created all sorts of stuff he was a real nonsense in that left side of midfield it was Christian Pulisic who scored the first goal on 54th minute uh, just before going off with an injury uh, but gave Dortmund the 1-0 lead again goalless in the first half all these goals coming in the second half and um, we went behind got back again Sergio once again providing an equalizer for us 78th minute making it 1-1 didn't get a winner though it was actually Dortmund who got the winner an uncharacteristic error by Ricardo Mercuri in goal uh, went for a ball was nowhere near it and uh, it was Luka Adzic scoring the 92nd minute goal they left it late but um, giving Dortmund the winner and uh, it was a, a home defeat and the way we've been playing the second half of the season it sucks to lose but this one this one was um, a bad defeat. We, we were okay, but we weren't fantastic and mistakes cost us in the end. But we responded and uh, we got a win at home against uh, Hamburg, who are doing pretty good themselves. And they're up in fifth, so a good team. And we beat them at home. Um, again, possession more in our favour. And again, shots and chances about the same. We had, well, three chances created each apparently. So pretty tight game and it all came down to a penalty for us. It was Sergio scoring in his third game in a row to give us a early 1-0 lead, only six minutes in. Sergio into double figures now. I think he's got 11 or 12 goals this season and uh, gave us a lead early on. Five minutes into the second half, Hamburg equalised. It was at Mike Muckel. Muckel? I, I still don't know German very well. Seven seasons of this and I'm still getting names wrong. Umlauts I'm not sure with, but um, I'm going to go with Muckel for now. 50th minute, giving Hamburg the equaliser. And then the referee gave a penalty to us. It was confirmed by uh, VAR. Um, the referee uh, consulted him and uh, the penalty was uh, upheld. And Mark Bresnitz, we just come off from the uh, subs bench uh, literally a minute before replacing uh, Fuchs, uh, scored the penalty to give us a 2-1 lead. And that's how it ended. A big win at home against a good side in Hamburg. But again, they didn't defend too well. Um, gave away a penalty. And uh, yeah, I thought we deserved, but it was a very, very close game. So yeah, this uh, performances in the second half of the season have just been incredible. So, so good. I think sort of, yeah, even before the winter break, we won those two games in December and that was fantastic. But that win against Mönchengladbach Gladbach set, set us off on that massive run where we won, set, what's that, five out of six games? Just massive, massive improvements. So the second half, we've looked like a team that can, you know, be an established Bundesliga side and you know that hopefully will be a thing in the future we're in 12th place we are safe from relegation 12 points to flat play for 
We are 13 clear of Stuttgart, who are in that uh, relegation playoff place. Uh, we face Stuttgart today, who are you know, in danger of going down. They're in that playoff spot at the moment. And then it is Bayer Leverkusen in a home game after that. So let's jump into the uh, two matches then. We'll start off with Stuttgart. It's an away game. Team news, we're looking okay. Demelt's not looking good in fitness. He missed a game because of his suspension. And he's kind of lacking in match fitness at the moment. Georgievich is um, injured at the moment, so he's going to be out for a while. Going to replace Kola with Selkos. Kola's been in poor form recently, so Selkos is going to start. So we are underway. Stuttgart versus uh, Berlin FC Dynamo, and we'll see what happens. Uh, we've won one game on camera this season. We'll try and get another one in one of these four matches, or as many as we can. Uh, but early on, lots of possession, which is fantastic. We'll see if we can use that to our advantage. Half an hour in, we have not had a highlight yet. <laughs> Nothing at all has happened. Lowen with, um, well, there's the first highlight now. As soon as I say that, we get one. But it's actually Stuttgart in possession. Amon's got the ball. Goes for goal, but it's an interception by uh, Osterman. And Selkos with a great tackle there. And now the counter-attack is on. And Fuchs is on his way. Could put a ball in there. Sergio was on his way into the box. And that cross is blocked. Kircher can go for one. And that's also blocked. So... Two crosses attempted, zero completed. And now Stuttgart on the attack again. End-to-end -end stuff here. About half an hour in. Wolfsguide's got the ball. Another block there. And now it's back up the other end. Goodness me, this is end-to-end. -end. Fuchs, again, he's going to look for Sergio, hopefully. He's been in really good scoring form. And he's got another one. 13 for the season for Sergio. Tremendous uh, loan signing. Sergio something, Amantigi his name is. I don't remember his middle name. But we've shortened it to Sergio. And he's got 13 for us this season. I think he must be our top scorer. But we've had goals from various sources. All of our strikers have had stuff to do, which is great. So we've got a 1-0 lead. We've got the edge in possession. We'll try and build on it, but we're away from home. It's going to be a tough one here. We'll try and hold on to it, though. Bit of a clearance by Mercury, a half clearance. And Tete goes for goal. Oh, it's off the post. And it's half cleared, and we run a free kick. That hit the post, and that almost stopped on the goal line. That's where you want goal line technology, not when the keeper's made... A simple save but we are up to half time almost we are leading 1-0 we've got the edge of possession i think we've been the better team so i think that's deserved they've got a squadron mustafi in their team oh my god they have at 33 he's not long left arsenal actually very recently in fact it might have only been this january but he's on a 6.1 in the uh, stuttgart defense is that really surprising mustafi is not very good we meanwhile are looking tremendous we are leading at half time uh, we'll try and build on it. We can maybe look at changing something. Demelt's had a bit of a quiet game, but no one's having a bad game in the slightest. I'll leave it out there. We're not going to make any changes. And let's see if we can build on this and maybe add another goal or two. 64 minutes played, and it's us uh, with possession. And it's uh, Markovsky. I couldn't remember his first name. Ingo? Actually, I don't remember. That's bad, really. He's been here for like a good few seasons. Goes for the long ball. Sergio. Oh, Mustafi. That's terrible. And it's 2 0. Skodran Mustafi's had a nightmare there. And he's only on a 6 1. He's going to be down to probably about a 5.7 now. Two goals for Sergio, two goals for Dynamo. We're looking good. And we'll see this again. We'll have a look at the uh, the calamity that is at Skodran Mustafi. That's, that's bad defending. There's no, there's no two ways about it. That's bad defending. Deary me. Uh, but we capitalise and it's 2 0. Mustafi still on a 6.1. That's generous, if you ask me. Augustin with a throw in for Stuttgart's got the ball back and uh, here's a Kanak and Herman and Bello and it's a reply George Bello uh, his first of the season of course it is we always score concede against someone for the first time 17 minutes coming up uh we've been, pe yeah, we've been pegged back to 2-1 English please and uh, it's a, a Kanak with uh, the ball to Haman Reed Muller and then Bello good work well worked goal actually you know four good passes strung together I mean, we had lots of players there, but we couldn't um, couldn't get to that. Selkos getting a bit tired, so we'll bring Kola out there. I want to see a good performance from Kola, though. He's not really impressed this season. Hollerback with a free kick, and it's uh, Salah goes up for the header. And uh, is there going to be a penalty? Um, referees gone to VAR again and confirmed the penalty. Not gone to the screen, but gone to his ear. Sergio completes his hat-trick, and it's 3-1. I think this is second hat-trick this season. I think he scored one against i think frankfurt very early in the season one of our early wins but he's got three here 15 for the season now sergio been a great loan sign in this season and three goals for us three for dynamo three for sergio fantastic 82 minutes we're gonna make another change uh we'll bring off Presthofer for ablinger 
And I think we'll bring off Sergio as well for Braznic. We'll give him his like ovation. It's another hat trick. Great performance. Really, really good. And we'll see if we can get into that top 10, maybe. I think we'll get 11th after this. There may even be a fourth goal here. And it's, it is. It's uh, Fuchs, I think. Max Fuchs. So, 4-1. Uh, is that the first time we scored four this season? I think it might be. I don't remember the last time we scored four in any season. Apart from friendlies. But uh, Colet with uh, the corner ball. And it was uh, Fuchs with the volley on the second time of asking. One was blocked. Great performance. 4-1. Away from home. We're getting better and better as this season goes on. And there's a late free kick. But it's cleared. Uh, still got a few minutes left. And look at the space Brasnitz has got now. And the players flooding forward. Can we get a fifth goal here? And it's uh, Fuchs. Oh, he hits the post. Can't quite get that for a fifth goal. And again, why? I don't know why you're showing me that. Please stop. Demelt to Fuchs. Brasnitz, come on. Let's get a goal for Hollerback. Let's get him forward. Come on, Hollerback. I want to play the song this season. And I don't know how long you're going to be here for. So we're going to get him up there on attacking. Let's see if we can get Hollerback his goal. He's attacking the ball there. It's a Kircher. Ablinger. Kola goes back to Markovsky. There's still time here to get a fifth goal. Plenty of time. Demelt. Oh, he's lost possession to Reed Muller. And it might be Stuttgart getting their second hit. Augustin's on the ball. Come on, defend well. No. Oh, he's missed anyway. And that's full time. 4-1 away from home. Fantastic result. Defending very well. A 5.8 in the end for Mustafi. He had a terrible game. And the whole of the team did. Stuttgart were terrible. and got They got one goal. And that's what the high ratings are for. One assist and one goal. Other than that, they were dreadful. Okay, now Hollerback has been pushed up to right attacking mid. I want a goal for him. That's just what I want. Rikili replaces Toons on the bench. I think that's going to be it. I don't see a need to change anything else. Um, Hollerback's, yeah, he's on 6-8, so he's doing very averagely, but don't really need to change any of this. We were terrific last time around, so I'm not changing anything apart from pushing Hollerback up that pitch because I want one goal from him. That's all I want. Misclick the team talk. I wanted to say pick up where you left off, and I said for the fans, but um, the individual team talk has gone very well, as it always does because they listen to me, and I'm a good manager. Off we go against Leverkusen. We're doing so, so well. This would just be another win, hopefully. We'll see. But I want one goal from Hollerback. That's all I want. There's a highlight in the first minute here, and it's them in possession. Tang Huasheng. Chinese player? Korean player? Maybe? I don't know. Weiser. And uh, attempted slide in tackle, but doesn't quite get there. Malcolm. And Huasheng again. Pietrzak. And again with uh, the Asian player. Silver on the ball. Is he going to go for goal? Yes, he is. But Mercury saves and holds it. And... An early goal for Leverkusen there. An early shot, rather. Not a goal. I'm foreboding now, aren't I? Malcolm with a free kick. Is it going to be a goal? Ferro, it is. Yeah, that's my fault. I I preempted it, didn't I? Ferro scores. Tang Hua Sheng with a goal. Where is he from, I wonder? Chinese. You don't see many Chinese players. That's interesting. Uh, but we're behind. Very early on. That's not a good start. And they've got Paulinho as well. What sort of team is this Leverkusen team? And why are they 13th? Malcolm. Goes for goal, but off target. Okay, um, normal service resumes. We've got plenty of possession. We're having a couple of shots, but pegged back very early on there. What was that, like the second minute? Very early on. There was a centre-back as well, but we'll see if we can build on that. We are getting into the game a bit more now, but um, no goal yet. 30 minutes in, and it hasn't gone well so far. Uh, Half-time. Not a lot else has happened, really. Um, We haven't done well. I'm going to say unlucky, and we'll try and build on that. I just want to go for Hollerback. I don't really mind if we lose this one. Let's go Hollerback attacking as well. We're just going to go for it and just see what happens. But second half, I'm going to hope for some improvements because we haven't looked great. Go back to early crosses. We'll overlap on the right. We'll get Kircher involved. Go a bit more direct. Eight shots, but we haven't seen any of them. It's not been great. We're going to make a change. Sergio, after his hat trick, has had a very quiet game, but everyone has. Like, we haven't really created anything. So, Brasnich is going to replace him. And we're going attacking as well. We're going to try and get that goal. But not been a great performance here. Um, Kolat's going to come on. Why has nothing happened in this game? Kolat with a free kick, though. This could be it. And it's saved. Demelt can put this in there, but it's cleared by Weiser. Again, we're seeing goal line technology for no reason. Let's just go for it. We've got only a few minutes left. Where is the time gone in this match? It's gone so quick. We've just been really unlucky in this game, I think. We just haven't had anything happen. We've been, I thought we've actually not played badly, but we haven't got anything from it. That game has just flown by. Uh, it's going to be a 1-0 defeat, and neither team, like, 
they got an early goal, but other than that, they really haven't done very much. Leverkusen, even that would another game that would be goalless. I mean, they got that early goal, surprised us. Uh, but look, look at that same number of shots and on target, same possession, and they just ended up getting that result. I mean, they defended very, very well. We were okay, but we conceded, and it was in the fifth minute as well. Another day that would have been a goalless draw, and it might as well have been. But um, disappointing again. Hollaback goes without a goal. It wasn't that bad. It was just one of those days, I'll say that. Just a bit of bad luck. But, um, you know what? We're, we're safe. And we're still 11th as well. So other results have um, gone our way. Cole could go ahead of us a bit more. And um, we've uh, two matches left. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. And we, we I don't think we're going to fall that far either. So, yeah, I'm not disappointed at all. Brilliant. Her through have overtaken Bayern again. So they're back on top. Two horse race at the top. Leipzig just outside, but can still technically catch them. Uh, but yeah, season's starting to sort of wrap up now. Stuttgart are... Uh, are they down now? Are they in that relegation playoff? Frankfurt are definitely relegated. Freiburg and Stuttgart are at the very, very least going to be in that playoff. One of them will be definitely down though. Uh, but two games left and we look like we're going to be sort of solidly in mid-table like 11th or 12th maybe even 10th it looks like it looks like we're going to get that and that's a terrific finish given the way we started this season we've improved so much after that winter break so incredible season really and uh, we'll see how we do in those last two games but i'm hoping we'll be okay and we'll try and stay where we are if not finish higher but it's, it's, it's been great actually we've been playing so so well didn't get the result we wanted to get to Leverkusen. So, yeah, it's fine. So, next time we'll have our final two games of the season Wolfsburg at home, 1860 Munich away from home. And um, yeah, we will see how high we, we can finish. But for now, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, do drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they send off on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to receive updates if I upload or go live. Follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video with our last two games of the season. And then we'll be into season eight, which is going to be one of our longest saves for a, a while. Um, 10 seasons for Palmer. I don't think Maidstone was as long as late. I can't actually remember. But um, yeah, we will end season 7 next episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you then. Goodbye.